Beauty. Steve here, ShenRC, and today I'm going to show you guys how to put a new servo in your ECX Temper Gen 2. I got this hex fly here. This is from my uh, Gen 8, and I'm going to put that in this one. And what you need to do, because in the back of this unit it's kind of funky, they have a funky connector, you just can't connect the servo. So you got to unscrew the top plate with the four screws. I already did it. Then you got a screw here, and then a screw on the side here, and on the opposite side there. And you just pull this interior out. And then you'll see inside there, they have a cluster of wires with a normal servo connector jumped from this funky wire here that looks different. And then you got to take this apart and uh, just that's how you wire your servo in. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to cut the little tie wrap on it. I'm going with this Hexfly servo. This was for my Gen 8 because I upgraded my Gen 8 to a 20 kilogram servo. And why I want to use this in this rig here is because it's a little shorter than a 20 kilogram one, so it'll give you more clearance over here. So I'm going to use this one. Now you can see. There's a normal servo connection because if you were looking in the back like I did at first I was wondering where the connection is and they have a funky connector that's different and then it leads to a normal one inside. So there it is. You unplug it and you should be able to get your servo out. You just got to take these uh, zip ties off. There's two of them. And then, I don't know if you could see, the wire goes up over the link and through the slot where the motor wires come up. So you gotta just pull that out. I'll show you again. Right in there, there's a slot and you just pull it right through. You're going to have to fiddle around with the motor wires and move them around to get it out. And there it goes. Alright, now your servo. You're going to want to unscrew these four screws. Next, you want to unscrew your servo horn. I got one of these aluminum ones. I may put this on, but I may grind this over here on an angle. So in case it'll clear better, you'll get up stuff easier, it'll slip over it. So I gotta see, I may just use the stock one for now also. So there's your servo. You take it out. This servo I noticed had a lot of play left and right in here, side to side. It's actually really bad and loose. There's your new servo. Make sure you put your wire in. Up in the slot, like I explained before, by the motor leads, put it right back in. And there it is.
Perfect. And now you could screw your servo in now. Now I have the servo in. I'm going to plug the lead in here. Right in this jack here. Now I'm going to get my battery and my radio and I'm going to test it. You want to set your uh, steering trim in the neutral center position. Okay, with it all plugged in, you want to make sure it's turning the correct way. So if I turn right, it's working correctly. I'm just following it. This horn doesn't fit, so I'm going to have to use that aluminum one. So I'm going to get to that next. What you want to do is take this off. And unscrew this ball. Let me shut this off really quick. You're going to want to put a little thread lock on this, and you're going to want to screw it in this back one here. Just like this. But let me get a little thread lock first. Just put a little thread lock on it. That should be plenty. And put it in the hole here that you see, not the end one. That's it. Make sure it's snug. All right, now you want to put this on. I'm just going to test fit this. You want to pop this in. And we want to turn the car back on. Turn your radio on. And you just want to line up your uh, steering. And I could see already this ain't going to work. It's hitting. That's not good. With this servo horn on, the bottom ball joint hits the top of the steering bar here. So what I did is I loosened up these screws on the servo and I just pried it up as high as it could go. Now I'm going to retighten them back up so it'll give it more clearance. Okay, now I'm going to test the fit now. It's still rubbing on the bar, but it doesn't look like it's harming it that much. So I guess you could leave it like that. Next, what I want to do with this servo horn is I'm going to grind some of this off the back here so it don't hit as much and actually grind the front on an angle. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. You could see I grind the servo horn on the front on an angle. 
And I also did that on the rear of it also. And this way it'll get more clearance. So let's pop it on and see how it worked out. Much better now. All right. So now we're going to just screw this in. Put this back together and we'll be all set. You'll have to zip tie the wire back on the link. So let's get to that now. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and tighten this up. Just snug these top and bottom Allen screws a little bit. Now for the main screw you want to use thread lock. You could use a little bit on those also. That's it. Now we'll get back to putting the body together. All right, I have everything ready. Now I'm just gonna put the body back together. The two longer screws go in the front piece. And there you have it. New servos installed. I just got to put some zip ties on the bottom here. I don't have them right now, so I'm going to leave it like that. One other thing I'm going to show you is I make my own glitch busters. They help out with the power to the servo from the back. So I'm going to make one of those, and I'm going to plug it right in the extra port there. So I'm going to make that, and then I'll show you where it goes. I'm back, and I just made the glitch buster here. And I'm going to show you it plugs in in this second port here. You just got to do the positive and negative in the right polarity. Push that right in. Just like that. Now I put a piece of the clear stick tape here. So I'm just going to stick tape that right on. Just like this. That'll hold it in place. And there you go. Now let's test it out. Turn on the radio. Let me get my battery in here real quick. And here it is, guys. Works like a charm. More powerful servo, better power for the servo with the glitch buster, and that's how you do it. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. I appreciate the support, and I'll see you next time, guys. Beauty!